Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Now, and I'm back with some more Brutal Mario. And here we are at water level Japanese style flavoring number two. And I kind of walked away from my bad. I don't want to do this level, that's why I did that because I know it's gonna be slow as hell, and I'm gonna have to waste the whole episode doing it. But whatever, maybe it might be fun. Hey, look, we ain't in the water. Maybe, maybe this will be fun. But uh, I don't know, it's just like the scrolling levels, the water levels and shit where you be swimming. It takes forever because Mario, he like so fucking slow of a swimmer, man. I need to be Michael Phelps in this shit. Ooh. Uh oh. Well, I guess ain't nothing in this water that's gonna kill me. And I guess jumping on dolphins is just for damn coins. I don't give a fuck about coins, man. Get me out of here. Get me. Stop. Dolphins? Stop it. No, whatever. I'll just keep jumping on them. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. I ain't even trying. Oh, never mind. I was say I ain't even trying. I ain't even touching the water. I'm so amazing. But anyway, yeah, we're back with some more Brutal Mario in this game. I don't... Not as... What is heck? It is... I don't know, man. It's like the best shit ever. Like, I'm really enjoying it. And, uh, it's not as frustrating. Like, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, it was fun, too. Like, I thought it was cool. It had, like, its own story and shit. Brutal Mario, it doesn't have a story. What the hell? Uh, 20? That's all... That's all I, I can read. What the... Yoshi, come on. Jazz on your boy. We only got 20. 20... What? What'd I do? I gotta eat him? Eat him, Yoshi! Eat him, your fat ass. But yeah, Super Mario Odyssey was cool. It has its own story and shit. This might have a story, but I can't read it because it's in Japanese. So I don't, I don't know what the story is. Come, eat him, Yoshi. Goddamn. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the hell eating these dolphins is supposed to do. I have absolutely no idea. But this hack so far has been fun. And a little less frustrating than Brutal Mario, not Brutal Mario, but Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, come on. Eat that one. Eat that one. There we go. Oh, that was it. Fucking, this is my favorite water level that ever was. Cause that, that, that was nice. It was short, simple. I got to eat stuff. For, I don't, mmm, some little mini game, I guess. It, it breaks up the damn, the gameplay. That was only two minutes. Well, actually, a minute and like 50 some seconds. Oh, fuck, never mind. I was so happy, but then we get a real level, water level. Like, bitch, you thought it was all good, didn't you? Here's a water level, homie. Be prepared to waste all your kind of time. But anyway, that level was actually pretty cool. I didn't expect that. I can't eat those while I can jump off them. Blop. And it's like, oh shit. Are you serious? Oh, well, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Like, oh yeah, we got a water level and also you in total fucking darkness. Oh shit, you're like. Hopefully this shit lasts. It's probably gonna go out. It's probably gonna be on time or something. I don't understand how picking up a jellyfish will give me damn light anyway, but whatever. Yep, there you go. I knew it was gonna be going out. Right, let's just follow the coins. Hey, look, another damn thing. Give me a rip van fish. Okay, dokie, okay. so this world level isn't too hard. I like the level design because there's nothing like this in the original Super Mario World. Like, I've never seen a level like this in Super Mario World. Where, well, actually, kind of, because you get the little levels where it's dark, and you have to hit, like, the on and off switch to turn the light on. But, uh, this is pretty cool. I like, I like the, like, one thing that I love about this hack so far is the level design. The level design has been fantastic. And, uh, I don't know, it's just been pretty cool. Like, a lot of hacks, they seem to just, oh, wait, come back, Yoshi, no! <laughs> Yoshi, you son of a bitch! Like most hacks, they just focus on difficulty more so than uh, level design. So it's not like really, really, you know, unique and complex, like different kind of cool levels that have a lot of different like gameplay mechanics and shit. It's normally just like jump through all these fucking spikes and hopefully you won't die, homie. And you know, it's just like, oh, and it's just to get you mad and whatnot. But this hack, you know, it hasn't really been pissing me off. It's been difficult at times, but more so, it's just been fun to play. Like, this is pretty damn cool. I like this. There, there's a little fucking jellyfish was annoying because I didn't think it was gonna come out of nowhere, but so far this has been pretty fun. Even this water level isn't too bad because I don't know, it kinda adds something. Is that the ice cream man? I hit ice cream man. Oh son of a Okay, now this water level pissing me the fuck off. But uh I got distracted, man. Ice cream Shit, I fucking love ice cream. Now I just hear ice cream man outside. Uh do I got some money on me? I don't know fucking I ain't finna run out on no commentary to go get ice cream. And what is it, fucking maze? A maze? Ah, uh, fuck. Well, whatever. If I get hit, I get hit. And now I can't see shit. Come up! Uh, this dude know how to get me sometimes, I swear. And then I died. Well, let me back up. Because I was not saving. I got too... I got too comfortable. Too complacent. Fuck. Because I was like, man, I ain't gonna die on this shit. I ain't gotta... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, I thought I was fucked right there. Yeah, I was like... Shit. I've saved it like the worst fucking possible place. I was like, I ain't gonna die, man. This shit easier than pie. And then I die, and I uh, fuck because I pretty much didn't save it forever. Uh, let me get this. These are smaller, so it should be easier to get through shit. But this pissed me off because I gotta be careful. So it makes a fucking slow ass water level even slower. Oh, come on, dog. I was already close to the end. 
Come on, Mario, stop dying for me, please. Let me see. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! That's what I get for being greedy. That's that's what I fucking get. I don't know I want the goddamn coin. I ain't pick up the rest of them, so that shit ain't gonna matter. There we go. Let me get the little thingy, and there we go. So that wasn't too bad, I guess. It was interesting. I still don't like water levels. They just break up the pace so much. I understand you need pacing and you need variety in the level, you know, with the, the tempo. Not tempo. I'm thinking about speeches and shit. That was one of the things that my speech teacher taught me in college. It was like, you kind of have to change your pitch of the voice and, you know, how fast you're saying shit and we in the fucking water again. Which makes sense because we still in the water on the overworld, so we should be in the water, but a fucking castle water level, that's kind of weird. I didn't think that was going to fucking happen. And I'm... Uh, well, fuck. Alright, so now we're going to the castle. <laughs> I wasn't saving. I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. Like I haven't played in a while, so I, I gotta realize that I, I do suck, so I gotta save a lot. But anyway, uh, yeah, that was one thing about giving speeches. You have to kind of change up the tempo, so you know you gotta talk faster at certain points, talk louder at certain points, change your voice at certain points. You know, try to emphasize and uh, keep people interested because it's like, oh my god, shit changing. Oh what the? Oh that's cool. Underwater castle got like a little wavy, watery effect. Gonna make me throw up, but you know, it's kinda cool. I guess I can't go through there. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one good thing about speeches. It was cool because I'm not really, like, I don't like giving speeches because I don't like, you know, standing up in front of people. It's the same thing with pretty much like, everybody. You gotta stand up in front of people, they beady ass eyes just looking at you, and you know, you start to get worried and nervous. But for some reason, what's this door? For some reason, I was good at giving speeches. I don't, I don't know why. For some reason, I'm just good at, you know, just kinda turning off my brain. Is there music on the stage? I don't hear shit. Anyway, I was good at like turning off my brain and just just talking to people, cause that's what I normally do. I guess because I'll be freaking out, I'll be all nervous and shit, like shaking. But then I oh, I turn everything on. Yeah, <laughs> not in a dirty way. But uh, even turn on the music. What the hell? But yeah, you, you kind of gotta just stop being nervous and just just do it. You know, you gotta take Nike's motto. You just you just do it, and uh, that's pretty much all you can do. So uh, that that was my whole philosophy on doing uh damn I can't go through there speeches it was just eh you know there's nothing I can do to get out of it so I just got to do the fuck speech and uh, uh, a lot of times I was praised by my teacher they were like oh damn you good at speeches They're like do you practice I was like hell no that was one thing all through my fucking oh whatever I'm just gonna book it all through my high school career middle school whatever school I never studied or practiced or prepared for anything. But for some reason, shit just came to me easily, which I'm guessing. What? The fuck? Where am I? Uh oh. I think I'm stuck. Either I'm stuck or invincible. I'm not invincible, but invisible. Where? Son of a bitch. Where am I? Alright, let me back up. Okay. Because I don't know what the hell. I glitched into the goddamn ceiling. But yeah, yeah, like I was saying. I was, I was lucky that shit kind of came to me easily and stuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, I can't jump, apparently. This is gonna be annoying. Okay, don't don't go into the ceiling, man. Please don't go into the ceiling this time. Okay. But yeah, shit came to me easy, and giving speeches was kind of easy for me because I would only think about it a lot. I'm I'm kind of guy that thinks probably too goddamn much. Like I think a lot. So normally when I'm you know I got a speech to do, I'm normally thinking about it you know a million times over in my head. So I don't really have to plan it, write it out, write down a fucking uh uh you know do a outline or whatever like I didn't never really had to do none of that stuff because I would have already you know gave the speech a million times in my fucking head so when I go up you know in front of everybody what the the fuck is what the hell is this shit whoa what the hell what the fuck am I fighting it's got a my jinky what the hell it's like something from Contra what the hell oh shit that hurts fuck oh I died Oh shit. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, but like giving speeches, you know, I, like I said, I would have done it a butt million times in my head. So by the time I give a speech, I'm just up there, I, you know, I kind of got to shake the nervousness off. I stare into one place, like one fucking direction during the, the, the speech. And then I just, I just shut off my brain and just do it. Because that's all you can do. You just shut off your brain and you do it. Please, I don't want to miss this. Okay, there. And then you just talk. And then since I've done it a million times in my head, I just do it over again. And I make some mistakes, like, you know, I fuck up on words, I get nervous, start shaking, I talk a lot with my hands, that's one of the things that my my speech teacher was talking about, you know, talking with your hands can be kind of a distraction if you do it, 
you know too much or you know you, your hands is blocking your face and shit like you're going crazy you're just flipping out your hands just like waving around like trying to wave down i don't know the police because your arm and fell off or something like you know it, it, that kind of shit but uh i don't even know why i'm talking about giving speeches <laughs> it just kind of happened but uh, yeah that was one of the things i was good at i don't i don't know why but because uh, i'm like the most anti-social person on the face of the planet because i don't like talking to people but uh i'm good at talking to people I, it's, it's weird i guess it's because i'm a gemini you know, got two faces or whatever. Boom! Oh shit, I missed. All right, boom! I missed again. Oh, and he ate me. Damn it. Okay, let me go back. Go back. But uh, I don't know. It's just weird. And Gemini's supposed to have two faces or whatever, like two different personalities. And I guess that's my um antisocial, but at the same time, I can be good at talking to people. And hopefully, you know, that's that's been one of my strengths in the past. So hopefully that that comes to play later. Boop! Can you please, Mario? You dumb sack of shit. <laughs> can you please hit him? Like, come on. But that's been one of my strengths in the past, man. When I need to get shit done, I'm able to actually, you know, converse with people, even though I don't like to. Boom! Shit! My jinky, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Keep killing me and shit. Embarrassing me while I'm trying to do this playthrough. Oh, damn, it ain't even over. What's that, a mini boss? What is it, Zelda? I probably should have waited till I got big on him, so I can get me a flower, but whatever, no, man. Because a flower ain't going to help anyway. Whoop! I thought that was going to squish me. But, uh... Yeah, so give him speeches, man, if... You know that that it's not just for giving speeches. Wait, what? What am I talking? Well, yeah, like you you get nervous in speech, but at the same time, oh shit. Well, I probably couldn't use that. Anymore. What the fuck? Oh, K. Rule. What the hell? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Give me that. I need to kill him. I didn't. Ex what the hell are you doing in here? It's Mario's game, and your hitboxes were goddamn dickless. I don't know how the fuck you, you hit me. So this is gonna be just like damn Donkey Kong boss. Shit! Come on. There we go. I remember playing this shit like Donkey Kong Country 1 and Donkey Kong Country 2, true, but 2, uh, back in the day when I was a kid. Oh man. This hack is. I fucking love this hack. It is great. I didn't expect to fight Dale K. Rule today, but whatever. That's pretty damn cool, all these goddamn custom bosses. This is what I want to see in the hack. This is what I want. I want custom bosses, I want custom music, I want custom everything because it just, it just shows, like, they put. I, I know whoever made this hack. Whatever, you know, guy made this hack, put in a bitch ton of work to do this. Because I tried to make a hack my damn self, and it is harder than a son of a bitch. And to put in so much time and effort to do this. Oh! Fuck! Well, I got that for no reason. What the hell is that, Dookie? You shooting poop pebbles at me? Oh, shit. I done got slow. That's not, that's not good. Oh! Oh! Damn! Oh! This fuck, man! I'm slow! Just duck it, Marty. Just duck it. Okay. That didn't go as bad as I thought it was gonna go. What the hell is that up there? Oh, fuck my face! But uh, yeah, man, like I was saying, you, you kind of got to shake off nervousness, uh, even in, you know, situations like, uh, you know, just talking to people in general. You just got to shake it off because, you know, being nervous ain't going to do shit but hinder you and everybody gets nervous, but you just kind of just got to get over it. Oh, what you doing? Okay, can I shake off the, like, oh, fuck. Like, can I shake off the slowness now because it's kind of pissing me off? Okay, okay, what's going on? Stop. Get the fuck off me, homie. Oh, what's he gonna do? Where are you gonna come? Oh shit! Man, you bitch! Yeah, fuck you too, fucking K rule. But, uh, oh, where's he gonna appear next? When the hell did he get instant transmission, fucking teleporting after image powers from, like, Goku and shit? Because he seemed to have them, and it's not fair. Oh shit! Uh, I hate this guy. I hate this. Stop poofing in me, you son of a bitch! Fuck! Fuck, man! This ain't. Man! This is more bullshit! How you doing this? Okay, there we go. Bitch, there you go. You done? He is done, son. Now you went to the fucking moon. Fuck out of here, you piece of shit. But uh, yeah, man, if you get nervous in front of people, you know, you, you kind of got to get over it. And uh, all that good shit. I don't know how I, I got to talking about this, but that's how it is, son. You know, that's just how it is. And so on and so forth. I guess I'll do one more level. Ooh, fucking, might as well. Fucking underwater boat ship thingy. Get out of here, buddy. I had to kill him. He disrespected my family. I had to do it. Alright, so we in a sunken ship, apparently. Shit, now I'm invincible. But I can't run through shit, so I'm gonna be all extra slow. Then I'll keep trying to. No, in there, my fucking. I don't need the extra lives. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the dick. I gotta deal with damn ghosties. Oh shit, no damn star. Never mind, I ain't gotta deal with nothing. I just keep flying through it. See, this is why I like in the water level. If you gonna have annoying ass ghosts that make me invincible, so I don't have to worry about that shit. Boop. 
I really do like this. But uh, this hack, man, I really like it. It's like I like the fighting the bosses because after a while you get tired of fighting fucking the same ass bosses over and over again. It's all the fucking Koopa kids or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Like, you know, in the Big Boos. You fight Big Boo like a million times in the fucking Mario game. So, you know, it's cool to see that they got custom bosses and whatnot. So, I'm really enjoying this hack. I can't wait to see all other stuff. I don't know how long this hack is. But I can't wait to see all oh, shit. Well, fuck. Give me this. I need the fucking invincibility frames. Invincibility for no, I fucked up all this. Oh, shit. Fuck. He tripped me. He got me worried and shit. Okay, 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 I can do this. Come on. I don't have invincibility no more, I gotta actually work for it. And I flew, I flew. Stop, stop, Mario, stop. Stop, stop, stop it. I can control you. Come on, you do this. We can do this together, brother. But, uh, let me see. Are we out of the woods yet? Fucking torpedoes and, oh shit. Ghosties and shit. This is a goddamn day. Oh, what? My time almost up. What the hell? Alright, well, let's get up out of here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, that was bullshit, man. I was stuck between a uh, torpedo and a hard place. Alright, alright. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I f yeah, I fucked myself again. Let me just wait for this asshole to move. Then I... <sighs> Let me just be patient. The music is rushing me because it's like... Alright, fucking stupid ass hand. Damn Mickey Mouse. Fucking coming out here with fucking torpedoes. Fucking son of a bitch. But, uh... I don't know, the music is really rushing me, so I'm doing stupid shit that I shouldn't be doing. Fucking Torpedo Teddy and get the hell up out of here. But, uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, like I was saying, I, I, I lost my train of thought. I lose my train of thought a lot because I'm always on random shit. But yeah, the, the custom bosses and shit is cool. And I got shot in the back of the head. God damn it. Got me right in the dome piece, dog. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I really want to see what else this hack has in store for me because I love seeing the custom bosses, especially seeing bosses from other games. Like, uh, K. Rool. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what the hell he got to do with the story because I can't read none of it. Like I said, it's in Japanese and I can't read no other language other than English and uh, maybe a little bit of Spanish. And that's about it. But, uh, like this shit. Like, that's all I know in Japanese. And that was all gibberish. So I don't know what the hell the story got to do with why K. Rool was here, but whatever. It's a pirate ship. Well, actually, no, he was in the last days. So he was right before the pirate ship, but. Maybe he was like, you can't go on my power ship and get all in my booty and you know, all that shit, but hey, another castle. So anyway, I guess we'll save this castle for later. We defeated K. Rool, went through all these slow-ass water levels, and now we're ready to beat the king in his own castle. I don't know what boss we're going to meet in here, but we'll save that for next time. Uh, uh, this is DJ Now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.